Hi guys, it's Rosalka, and today we're starting a new game. However, um, since uh, the intro won't run through Fraps, which is what I usually use to record, we're going to be using Cam Studio just for the intro, so apologies while I squish this in. Paris in the fall. Oh, hey, George. The last months of the year and the end of the millennium. Ooh. The city holds many memories for me. I bet it does. Cafes, of music, of love, and of death. Oh, you had a party. Revolution. It was really good until they renamed it Wii. Uh, <laughs> uh, broken Sword, the Shadow of the Templar. See, you don't generally get animation of this quality in most games. Ah, uh, Paris. City of love. City of wang-shaped iron. Oh, and of course, Charles Cecil. I almost missed him entirely. Day of Cummins. Jonathan Howard. Am I going to just be reading out names? Oh, just the ones I recognize. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I came across this game probably five, six years ago. Oh, Steve Ince. Thumbs up, man. Um, but uh, I really liked it when I played it then. And um, then I played the other ones. Yeah. Two is good. Three is... Uh, <laughs> and four is we're not going to get to four yet. Wow, Barrington, you really know how to pump up the music. And the birdie says, Ooh, hello, lady. Oh, hi, Mr. George Stobart. Oh, hello. Ooh. Aw. Oh. How dare you pop someone else's balloons, George? That's, that's just not nice. Okay. Um. <laughs> George is like, I don't know. Oh. oh! Boom when her breast implants. <clears throat> Wake up, George. You're still alive. No. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life mm. went on around me. But the explosion was to change my life forever. Forever. Okay, so basically we've had an explosion. It's just a the whole The umbrella had away. protected me from the bomb blast, but it was of no use to me now. Yeah. Um, there's a newspaper here that we were reading. Come on, George. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. That oh, was the only on, news story. The rest was rumor, gossip, and sensationalism. Then I noticed mm. the writing at the foot of the page. What is it? It read Salah ed Din, 1345. Hmm. Interesting. Keep it as a clue. All right, let's go inside. See if anyone survived. The devastation. Hello? Oh. I don't think he did too well. Oh. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. I was gonna no suggest wallet, that you just no papers, check his no pulse. Credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. I was like, hey, check his pulse. Wait, where is most of his body? He's just sort of a crumbled heap. Fantastic. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. You, lady. Ooh, cop on a feel there, eh, George? Georgie? Oh, hello, she mysteriously woke up from that. Hi. Oh, my head. Never again. How much vodka did I drink? Oh, no, don't tell me. Um, what is your name, Sherry? George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, <laughs> American. 
She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. I don't trust Americans. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. Okay. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Well, just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out by an explosion. You don't say. What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh. No. Oh, um. No. No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? There was a monkey. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Oh, goodness. Okay. Is that straight or with ice? <laughs> Just give me the bottle with a cheat on it. Oh. I guess a little drop won't hurt. She's gonna get, like, plastered. George, this might be your lucky day. Oof. <sighs> That's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I think it might have been water. I wasn't picking up the check. <laughs> what about the old man? Is he dead? Well, he's a crumpled heap, so I would say yes. Yes, he is. Oh, mon dieu. I've My never seen a real life corpse before. Except for Grandmama. Oh, that yeah. was different. She was family. Yes. Is he gun stiff? I shouldn't think so. He's only been dead a few minutes. I don't think he's going to go stiff at all, because he's just a crumbled heap of blah. Did you know the old man? No, monsieur. I never saw him before. And yet, he will forever change the face of this establishment. How did the old man behave? Well, agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? And the, yes, he never I saw the clown. So. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had Ooh. that look about him. Like a guilty husband. <gasps> Is, are you married? No. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played all right. What was he it playing? It was like a funeral dirge. Maybe it I was. I never liked accordion music either. <laughs> Did the clown speak to the old man? No, we saw no. the animation. He just laughed at him. Well, the man didn't he, even he see him. grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Ah. Uh. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, no he, he didn't, didn't open, open it. it. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he was frozen. Maybe he was. Did the old man Maybe try he to was stop frozen today. Oh, he didn't have a chance. The clown dropped his accordion and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. You remember quite a bit. Hey, do you like my newspaper? Did this newspaper belong to the old gentleman? I don't know. Someone has scribbled a note on it. It reads, Sala Ed Din, 1345. 145. Does that mean to you? No, monsieur, nothing. I do not know how to read time. Stay here, mademoiselle. I'm going to look around for evidence. Oh, yeah, because we can really trust you and your evidence. We don't even know who you are. Alright, uh, there's nothing left in here to do. Let's run out of here, George. Flee! No one will see the devastation we left. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Hello, monsieur. Oh! <gasps> Please! Hold it right there! Oh, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Oh, Can't God. Make up your mind, huh? I uh. demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. <laughs> Put that thing away, Sergeant. Move. No. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Well, that makes Am I sense. under arrest? No. Uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. March. I shall march. March, march, march. Oh no, I've forgotten how to say French in what the a left mess. and right. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? No! Stop that, monsieur! Um... Stop holding your breath at once! Uh, Moo, he's dead. Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Moo? No, I'm a oui, simpleton. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. 
this. However, in yeah. this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the Bob killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? Oh. All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume that no. a great detective assumes nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. So were you. He was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's Tintin. a different move. They were comedy Belgians. <laughs> anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl and oh. take her statement, if you can. I think he's going to be more interested in examining the girl. Hey, lady. I doubt if she is in a fit state for questioning, monsieur. Instead, I will touch her breath. It smells to me as if she has been drinking. Oh. And I feared we have stumbled upon a den of iniquity. Move. Leave her to me, sir. I am used to handling drunken women. With my I hands. I do not doubt that for one moment. Hey, maintenant, to business. Hello. Your name, please? George Stobart. George Stobart. I'm from California. California! And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Romance? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You uh. chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year. You mean when no? it's not blowing uh, up? Yeah, I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Bomb blasts? Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? It was outside. Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Ooh. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Oui. Yes, I did. Was he alone? Oui. Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? Mais non. No. He was more interested in the waitress. Ooh, the alors. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? The waitress? Oh, well, it was the clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? That's what blew up. Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Huh. Is the girl all right, Moo? She'll live if she survives the hangover. Yeah. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. What? She told That's us before. Odd. Don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe? I wonder. Well, she's drunk. I'm not. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. Yay! Yay. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. Yes, I'm what going about home my now. Personal safety. Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. Alors. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in <sighs> no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Sorry, I, I needed to hit my my head in the presence of Moose. Thanks. <sighs> Brett. That is all. You may go. Okay. See you later. Have fun. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? I am pretending to be Poirot. Be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in oh. psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough. Yeah, I am. Yeah, George just goes, I'm getting out of here. Oh, hello. Excuse me, mademoiselle? You're hot and sexy. Let's make out. I like your blue shoes and your purple dress. Hi, my name's George Stobart. Let's oh, make out. An American by the sound of it. Yes, yeah, we. Yeah, that's right. On holiday in Paris. Some holiday, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? We. Oui. Sure was. Sat right out front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat? I oui. couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? We may oh, need no, to hug. Nothing like 